Balletron Coolbox is the third installment in the Balletron series and I'm here to show you how to complete it. This time around the difficulty has spiked up a little bit, something I wasn't expecting but I am pleasantly surprised, as this one really got the brain working. Now this took me around an hour and a half to complete but don't you worry I've made a guide so it's only going to take you 10 to 15 minutes. Before we start, if you're looking for more gamer score, then please consider the other Balletron games in the collection. Balletron 1 offers 3000 gamer score for both the Xbox and PC version, and the second title, Balletron Oceans, also offers 3000 for both the Xbox and the PC version. As I said, the previous ones were a little bit easier, whereas this one is quite tricky from level 1. I am confident this title will get an achievement update down the line, so this one is a very good investment for any budding achievement hunter. But yeah, let's go get them achievements. So, this is level 1. As you can see, it is a little bit more complex than what we usually deal with on the level 1s of Ballatron, but here we go. We have to ricochet the bottom right blue ball into the roof. I have paused it just there so you can see exactly the coordinations that I use, and we can get level 1 complete. Once we get on to level 2, we'll get our first achievement, level 2. And now we can easily beat it. We're going to grab the bottom right ball once again, and we're going to bounce it with these coordinates here. With these coordinates, we'll do a lot of ricocheting straight into the ball, and we'll be on level 3 in no time. One thing I did forget to mention with this title is that some of the levels, just like level 3 now, also involves a little bit of luck. You will need moving objects in the correct position to complete the level. Level 3 was the first level I found this with. I'm going to complete it a few times now to show you what a slight difference can make. On the third clip, plan A doesn't work, but it bounces onto the objects and plan B works. If you don't get it right away, have a couple of attempts and it'll be all yours. One thing to keep an eye out is that if you're trying to line it up with the ghost line that is from the previous shot, make sure you're looking at the coordinates, as even though it does look like it's lining up, as you can see on these clips, the coordinates are quite different, but with my eye, I thought they were the same. So they are slightly different, so there's three coordinates for you to pick from. And that level is all complete, and then we'll get our next achievement. Okay, level four now, we have to use a bunch of portals to get to the ball. We're going to grab the left blue ball, and we're going to bounce it with these coordinates here into the top portal. And it's going to bounce all the way around the map into the green ball. I'm going to do this twice now just to double check that it is doable and we'll move on to the next level. Okay, now for a bit of a tricky one, but at the end there is an achievement, so we're going to push on through. We now need to time our shot so that the moving platform at the very top is as far left as it can go. Once there, let go of the shot and the ball will glide over to the right hand side. The moving platform should stop the ball from hitting the roof and guide it to the green ball. I'm going to complete it twice now just to prove that it wasn't a fluke. And just like that, that level is complete and we have our third achievement under our belt. Okay, we have another tricky one, but I have faith in you. We're going to grab this ball here and use these coordinates. We now need to time the right moving object so it's just about to pass the gold coin. If done correctly, it will ricochet right into the ball. This one is a little fluky as the bounces could push the blocks into the green ball, but for the most part, you can't get enough momentum on the little ball to push it fast enough. I had thought I'd add this clip as I also completed this level with brute force, like the epic gamer that I am. Right, moving on. For the next one, we're going to have to use two balls. We're going to ricochet the ball into the bottom of the screen and bounce it through the ice. Then we need to be ready with the furthest right ball, ready to shoot it into the green ball. I have done it twice to show you, it looks harder than it is. If you're using a controller like me, then the cursor is quite slow, but you do have enough time to get over to the next ball. Getting it through the ice is the trickiest part, so once it's through there, take a deep breath and take that shot. 
And then just like that, we have our next achievement, level eight. We now have to use three balls. The first will ricochet into the ceiling. A good aiming point is the gold coin, but it isn't integral to pick it up. We want the ball to be gliding over to the metal corner. This is when we'll grab our second ball and shoot the big one through the ice wall. Then, if you're fast enough, shoot it once it gets through, or if you're slow like me, wait until it settles down and finish up with the third and final ball. This next one is a doddle. We're going all around the world. Follow the cold on screen and this one is complete. Thankfully, we're only using one ball on this one and if you're lucky, you'll pick up the coin. Now, there's no real reason to collect these coins for achievement reasons, but if you're a perfectionist, then collect them all. Once we've completed this level, we'll get our next achievement, level 10. We are halfway there. The objective of this game is to hit the blue ball into the green, but we can also hit the green ball into the blue. We're going to grab the middle ball and we're going to bounce it straight through the portal. With these coordinates, it will bounce on through the portal, hit a couple of walls and hit the blue ball. I've done it a couple of times just to show you how it's done and it's as easy as that. I think the idea was to bounce the blue ball around the map, but we're going to take some shortcuts. Now, remember when I said this was a little bit fluky? Well, this was the level I had in mind. I completed this one in two very different ways, but both are just as effective. In the first clip, I bounced the ball into the portal and let it slowly float on over to the blue ball. This one is quite slow, and as you can see, I had to clear the way just in case I set the ball off in the opposite direction. But we got there in the end. The second clip is just as fluky, but I did try it a couple of times and it worked each time for me, so this is probably the better method to go with but the ball will just miss the portal and with the power of the ricochet, we are able to get the win by only using one ball. Again, I think the idea is to get blue to green, but if we can just brute force it, then why not? This one looks intimidating, but if you shoot the ball at the right angle, it's a doddle. Grab the top ball and aim it at the bottom right platform. At the correct angle, it is only a couple bounces away from the green ball. I've done it a couple times just to show that it is not a fluke. It is really that easy. Bounce it there, bounce it there, and we've completed it. No need to use them portals. Now, on to the next level. This one is probably one of the tricky ones on this achievement hunt. Once you have the correct coordinates, then watch the chattering teeth at the very top. Once it reaches the right-hand side of the screen, shoot the ball. If done correctly, the blue ball will glide through the level. Once that's complete, our next achievement awaits us. This next one is super easy. We've seen a similar one before in previous Ballatron games. We're going to shoot the ball through the portal at the green ball. When it hits the angled wall, it's going to ricochet right into the blue ball. I've done this one twice just to double check, and just like that, that level is all cleared up. Now, for me, this was the hardest level in this game. This one is a bit of a pain and it took me a very long time to figure out how to complete it. Now, I know that ice above looks very nice and tempting to blast through, but instead we're going to squeeze through the hole at the bottom. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this twice to show you how easily possible it is. We just need to time the chattering teeth as they kept grabbing me. Once they've crossed the middle metal pole, we can fire. The ball should easily squeeze through and after a bit of bouncing, it will reach the end. And then just like that, this really tricky level is complete and no sweat was broken. Once we've collected our achievement, this level thinks we're gonna go all the way around the world, but we are not going to do that. We are gonna grab the bottom left ball, just like I'm doing now. We're gonna shoot it with these coordinates. If done correctly, it will bounce straight into the green ball. No need to go round the map and through the portals. I'm going to do it again just to show you. Hit the ball with these coordinates and it will bounce straight into it. We're going to use that little square to ricochet off, but both times it did it. So follow along and this level is complete. This one is quite easy. We're going to use the first two balls to move the blocks out of the way. If you hit them slowly, they'll nicely float away. Once they are clear, we are good to go. Shoot the ball through the portal and watch it ping pong into victory. And then the level 18 achievement is ours. 
and then two more levels and then we've got that 100 percent for this one we're going to need to use the help of the squares follow the coordinates on the first shot on the screen and if hit correctly the square will push the ball into the portal from there you can use either ball on the right hand side to shoot the blue ball into the green I'm going to do this twice to show you as the ball bounced slightly differently the second time but as long as it gets through the portal it's really easy to finish the level and we're on the final level but we need to do a little bit of timing we are going to shoot the green ball into the ceiling so it bounces up and down from there, we're going to go to the right of the screen, and with these coordinates, we're going to shoot the ball through the portal, and if you've copied my coordinates correctly, it will fly straight to the position where the green ball will be when it's bouncing down. Now, you do need to time when you shoot the blue ball as well as the green ball. You don't need to be super quick with it, but make sure the moving platform doesn't knock the ball away. If done correctly, the level 20 achievement is ours, and the 100% of Ballatron call box is under our belt. And there we have it, we finally got there, we got the 100%. There's probably going to be an achievement update down the line, but for now, we are done here. Did you find this one harder than the other Ballatron games? Let me know in the comments section. Thank you for watching my guide, and I hope you got through it smoothly. If I helped you out, or if I put the Ballatron series on your radar, then please hit that like button. And if you'd like to keep updated with the most recent achievements, then please hit that subscribe button. If you're looking for more achievements, then please click the video on the screen now. But, until next time. I have been Morvi and I'll see you later. Happy hunting.